Hello, welcome to Aldershot, a town that's synonymous with stock car racing and of course the name Speedworth Motorsports. Well we're here today not to go stock car racing I'm sad to say, but to see the next in the vision of Speedworth Motorsports and just how that name is being developed for the future. Stay with us right now and we'll give you a brief glimpse, a sneak preview of everything that's happening here at Speedworth Motorsports headquarters. So to help us on our sneak preview, our exclusive taster of the brand new Speedworth Motorsports HQ, uh, we're relying on the sport of Nick Thomas, one of the members of the Speedworth team. So Nick, we're standing in what looks to me like a branch of a supermarket. That's right Dave, this is the Speedworth shop. You'll be able to come in here and buy everything Speedworth from a coffee mug through to a camshaft, a crash helmet, right up to a competition engine or a gearbox. Well, I'm led to believe that a lot of clothing going to be available here as well. And up next, I'm into the changing room where I'm told Samantha Holland is waiting for me. Uh, well, I've come into the dressing room complete with a hoodie for Samantha Holland, but sadly it would appear she's gone. So we've moved into another part of the showroom, another part of the shop, if you like. What's going to happen in here, Nick? Effectively, Dave, this is the mail order area, um, whilst it's also an extension of the shop. A lot of the business we do, a lot of our customers are going to be receiving their goods by, by courier and by post, because we're going to send stuff to South Africa, Northern, Republic of Ireland, Scotland, as well as all over England. So all the stuff you order online or by phone will come out of here. So when it comes to uh, things like uh, uh, clothing and t-shirts and baseball caps, the sort of stuff that us petrol head race fans really like, we're going to be able to order that online and this is where we'll come out of. It'll all go online and eventually and you'll be able to order it online and it will come from here. But everything, not just your caps, your pens and your mugs, a complete engine if you want it, we can send that to you. So from the shop of Speedworth Motorsports, we move into what's the development workshop area, I guess, here at Speedworth Fabrications. So Nick, this really is a development, isn't it? Because uh, race cars, cars that need to be worked on, I guess, all going to happen here. Yeah, I mean, next time we come in this workshop, Dave, hopefully with a the camera, there'll be racing cars being built in here. There'll be racing cars being worked on. And obviously, unfortunately, there's going to be some being repaired, of course, that have had some unfortunate incidences on the track. But the idea of this will be you can bring your existing race car here as well and have it set up. We'll have set up days, set up clinics with some experts here who know what they're doing and can help you with your setup on your car. Now, of course, you say there, unfortunately, some cars that have been wrecked out on the track, but that, in essence, is what we love so much about stock car racing, isn't it? But the ability to be able to get that back out on the track very quickly and also very cost-effectively, mightily important. Yeah, time is of the essence, obviously, for these guys. You know, we, we've only got to take an example with the National Hot Rod World Final Qualifying Series. Miss one round, and you can drop right out of that important top 20, as we saw last year with a couple of guys. OK, so explain what we've got in here, then. A huge area here. There's a couple of special bays as well. What's that all about? We have got some special... Do you want to come inside now? Yeah, let's have a look then. And this one has got the title on top, Assembly Bay. Uh, to my left-hand side is the Fabrication Bay. So let's take a look in here. Spotlessly clean, it has to be said. And uh, Nick, what's going to happen in this bay then? Right, the thing I think we need to accept first of all, Dave, is gone are the days when your racing car is built by Fred in a shed. Okay, they're built now in proper factories. And of course, very often, they're bespoke builds. We are able to do a bespoke build for a driver. If he's got his own ideas, he wants put into that car. So you imagine, how would you feel if you were having your bespoke car built and another racing driver just wandered in to buy a crash helmet or something else, breezed in the workshop, and there was your car being worked on? And he was able to have a good look over it. So what we've got here at Speedworth Fabrications are two secret, if that's the right word to use, locked door assembly bays. So if you're having a bespoke car built that's something a little bit special, it can come in here and be worked on without everybody else looking at it. Now that's really interesting because of course all of us when we're watching any discipline of motorsport on TV, sometimes we can see that, can't we? Where a certain part of a car is being covered up by a, a slightly larger mechanic who is deliberately shielding some special component away from uh, his uh, competitive teams looking at. So what you're saying is then if you've got an idea you know, you're going to be able to come in here and perhaps put that onto a car and see if that idea works without anyone else knowing. That's right. I mean, obviously, don't, don't lose touch of the fact this is all in the spirit of the rules. That's the important thing to remember. We're not saying clandestine things are going to go on here that nobody knows anything about. But there are things that are built into some drivers' cars that are their own ideas. And, of course, the classic case was Carl Bordley. 
the you know, all-conquering hot rod world champion who won it four times. You know, there were a lot of Carl's own ideas in that car, and he was very, very protective of that car with anybody seeing underneath it and seeing what was going on. And that's what these bays are all about. Oh, well, there we have it. That's what this particular bay is all about. Up next, we're going to what looks like a sun lounge balcony, but I suspect it isn't. So with my tongue firmly welded into cheek then, I said we're going to go up next to the Sun Lounge balcony, which it's like a mezzanine floor. What on earth can go on in Speedworth Fabrications up here on floor one, Nick? On floor one, Dave, which as you say is a mezzanine floor, this will be National Hot Rod Assembly Area. So the, the completed chassis, the fabricated chassis, will come up here to be assembled with all their suspension, engine, gearbox, piping, wiring, and of course the body. Well, I've spotted a slight flaw in the plan there, Nick. How are you going to get a National Hot Rod chassis onto floor one? There's no lift. OK, that's no problem at all, Dave. You'll notice we've got a, a gateway just there. There's a gate in the wall, and the cars will go through there and be lowered down onto the, onto the ground floor. We've thought of everything, you know. Clearly you have. So, OK, that's the next part of Speedworth Fabrications then. And that is the National Hot Rod assembly area. So the chassis is going to come up here and then everything else is bolted onto those chassis here until it's uh, hopefully a race winning car ready to leave the workshop. So from the development area of National Hot Rods up there on uh, floor one of the Speedworth Fabrications headquarters, we do move into the headquarters proper of Speedworth Motorsports. And Nick, so many great photos adorning this corridor. Yeah, I know. I mean, we've come here to have a look at the offices and show everybody the offices, but we've put together this Hall of Fame. And, uh, you know, we're very, very pleased with it. And there's some great names. Look, there's Neil B there, the late Neil B. And of course, that number's still being used by Jason Cooper. And behind you, 00, zero a number that's uh, very, very famous in hot rod racing. Yeah, of course, Martin. Morris and uh, you know the first hot rod really let's face it the first hot rod and right next to him Bob Howlock the first ever world champion from 1972 and the uh, red and white fence which of course adorned Foxhall Stadium for so so many years and as we go through it's every formula is being represented here by a guest somebody that's got maybe a unique selling point or maybe a unique story to tell in their racing career they've all got their unique stories you know Dave Pierce was just one of the greats of course just one of the greats and uh, Eddie George look 226 <laughs> Now, boy, there was a stock car entertainer. And when it comes to talking about stock car entertainers, well, you can't forget 302, can you? That uh, saloon stock car driver famed for incredible exploits on the track. And that's Dean Wood. And in due course, we'll be trying to have a chat with him. So we've come into another annex here at the Speedworth Motorsports and Speedworth Fabrications HQ. I genuinely don't know what's going on in here. All I can see is some tables with carpet on, so I'm perhaps hoping table dancing. But I suspect I'm wrong, Nick. Wrong, Dave, I'm afraid. Table dancing is off the menu. What this is, this is the fiberglass workshop. Um, obviously, regular race fans will know that all the body panels on a national hot rod are fiberglass or composite materials. And obviously, a lot of the panels on two-litre hot rods are the same. So we're, we're going to make the panels in here. So, when you say make panels, it's more than just make, isn't it? Because uh, the material that's used now, and, and I've heard it said many, many times, it's actually a very strong material and actually quite, um, uh, quite tough. So they're actually going to be designed and, and, and manufactured in this, this facility alone. Yeah, I mean, obviously, whilst the panels resemble the manufacturer's body panels, they have obviously got the big wheel arches on as well. So they need to be designed, separate moulds made, and they need to be manufactured. So they'll be manufactured in here, hence the tables with all the carpet on, because obviously the body panels can just be laid on there, moved around, slid around without causing any problems with scratching or damaging them. And then they'll go into the room next door for cutting. So that's what the carpet is for then, it's to make sure that the nice new panels for your race car don't get scratched. That is until you get on the track. So the racing tyres belie what's actually going to happen here in what I'm going to call Annex 2 in the Speedworth Fabrication, Speedworth Motorsport headquarters. Nick, at the moment, everything here, of course, still underway in terms of construction. Some more finished than others. What's going to happen in here? Yeah, this is a bit that completely isn't finished, Dave. But at the moment, this is just the warehouse, the dumping ground where everything uh, gets put while the building work's going on. This is going to be the setup workshop. So what there'll be in here, um, going into the floor, will be a proper ramp, like you have in a large car dealership. So we'll be able to lift the car up out of the floor, literally. Underneath it will be scales, all the setup scales, and down the other side will be all the screens and the computer diagnostics for getting cars set up. So new cars will come in here to be finally set up, or of course, as we spoke about earlier, you'll be able to bring your car here and have it worked on. A customer's car that might have been readied and uh, the last data checks are going to uh, uh, occur in this building here, that car is actually going to sit here almost ready for delivery. Yeah, you're, you know, you're, once your car is built, 
sign written, we'll take care of all that as well for you, and has been set up, you'll be able to come down here, we'll whip the cover off your car, and you go and race it. Oh, what a fantastic feeling that must be. You've dreamed about having a new race car, and the whole thing is actually going to be here, ready for delivery to you. Well, we've had a good look, a sneak preview at the Speedworth Motorsports and Speedworth Fabrications headquarters here in Aldershot, and as I alluded to earlier on, I was going to beat him about the head until I actually got him on camera, and that is to talk to uh, Speedworth's head honcho, Dean Wood, who, Dean, you're always one that says, it ain't me, Dave, it's about a team, and it must have been a humongous team effort to bring this into fruition. Yeah, it has been a real lot of work, and to be fair, Ian Fewings with a Chris Ludlow deal, we've all tied up together now, and Ian's got to take most of the credit for it. His boys, Scott and Steve, they've worked day and night here. They've been working here for two and a half months, what they've done, and it's unbelievable what they're doing. They're transforming the place. But to be fair, I remember a conversation with you some years ago, Dean, and you said to me, I've got this, I know where I want us to be, Dave, where I want stock car racing to go and where I want Speedworth to be. And my goodness me, you've really ticked the box in terms of the next stage of that development with this, haven't you? Uh, this is the start of the proper buildings. This is the footings now. Before we'd just been playing, we had to get race cars back on the track. We pretty well got there. We got the recession. It's not going to help things, but this is the footings to what we really want to build now. Now, I mentioned when we were walking down the corridor, the Hall of Fame, lots of photographs of characters that have been made in stock car racing. Of course, you were one of those. Did you ever in your wildest dreams, Dean, back then when you were racing in that car with 302 on the side and knocking seven bells out of some people out there on the track, at that stage in your career, did you think this is what you wanted to do? No, never. Never, ever thought it would ever happen. In them days, I couldn't even afford to have anything like it, but... Lots of things change. It's like John Maxwell was here the other week. Who'd ever believe that, the way me and John was? And it's, I think you get older, you grow up. We've been a little bit successful in life. We've got a long way to go yet. But just as we close this, because I know otherwise I'm going to get a fine from you for talking to you for too long, I guess you're a classic living example of if you want something bad enough and you're prepared to work hard enough for it, whether it applies to racing or life itself, you can make your dreams come true. I just had this thing, I'd just done an orphan thing in South Africa. I had a load of kids come to my place in there. I had 75 children, white and black. And I said, listen, you've got to have a dream in life and you've got to work for it. And our dream is to make short oval racing one of the biggest things in this country, and we're going to do it. And you know, when that man says we're going to do it, you kind of think, yes, you jolly well are. So we've given you a sneak preview of what the brand new Speedworth Motorsports headquarters and also the Speedworth Fabrications Workshop are like. Stand by for the next instalment of stock car racing in the UK and beyond. It's going to be a very exciting ride.